Entertainment news making headlines over this past weekend. Idol star Jody Williams will be performing at the Youth Olympics. And uh, Dame Mara Lowe wears a fake. What a faux pas there. And Marge, the material girl, turns 53. Jen Su joins us to give us the hottest celebrity news over the past weekend. She's an entertainment reporter and journalist as well. Jen Su, hey. always good to see you. Great to see you, well, And welcome back. You've been away uh, in the States. What yes. were you doing there? Just having a vacation, yeah. seeing a few celebs and having fun. All right. <laughs> And, and what's making these headlines, of course, we always celebrate the good news, Jodie Williams, uh, now saying that uh, hopefully there'll be a CD release in Singapore uh, and she'll be performing at, uh, at the, the Youth Olympics. That's a great feat. Absolutely. I'm really proud of her. She is the very first South African idol, mm -hmm. so she's really making it big. Um, they have five big representatives, and basically Jodie Williams is representing Africa. Uh, also, there's Sean Kingston and a number of other big artists on the bill and uh, she met up with big producer Ken Lim in Singapore and now maybe we'll have an album out there too yeah. from South Africa to Singapore. Yes and, and I think the whole thing is that the, the whole world knows about South Africa and that had had been the big advertisement that came with the 2010 World Cup. I'm exactly. sure we're gonna see an, a number of other deals across the spectrum be it entertainment or even business. Absolutely and just very proud of her you know this is a big uh, moment for her the Singapore Youth Olympics it's going to be more than 3,500 participants um, from all over the world of young athletes from 14 to 18. Yeah. Okay, and let's talk about another a very popular reality program. Idols is now in its sixth series, and uh, one of the judges, Mara Lowe, who's always graceful and very stylish, uh, one of the iconic uh, mamas of song, really, uh, being engaged in a fashion faux pas. That is just... It was a bit of a surprise, yes. um, you know, t and to see it so much in the South, uh, Sunday Times. I just think, though, that, look, Mara Lowe is an incredibly intelligent, talented, warm, incredible human being mm. I don't think she purposely did this yeah you know she wasn't trying to endorse anything and we do, do need to kind of you know give her a break here yeah. um, of course it doesn't mean that we condone counterfeit designer goods at all um, I think actually there should be a lot less of them there's a little bit too much yeah. around but at the same time it also goes to show that there are a number of clothing boutiques still which exist that say oh okay we've got these designer goods you know they and they're not they are not real But I that's mean, the thing I mean if you don't have uh, the authentic item to compare it to you don't have a picture necessarily you walk into a boutique at one of our upmarket uh, 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 departmental stores who are you how are you, how are you supposed to tell that exactly. this is counterfeit and this is authentic that's right and she said a number of years ago she'd bought this outfit and she was told that it was authentic of course you know I, I don't know exactly all the you know background reasons but I just think that it also shows that you know department stores or small boutiques need to be informing their consumers better mm. so you know it also shows that celebrities and public figures do need to be careful because at any time you could be in the supermarket you know just don't be caught wearing the wrong wrong thing she yes. won't be choosing that again for the next season yeah I think it's totally put her off Louis Vuitton I think all right let's look at just ginger one of the band leaders uh, is to appear at the Cape Town Magistrates Court for allegedly uh, driving drunk. Yeah, Art Matthews, what happened? But he himself, he said, I did a stupid thing. Yeah. At least he admitted it right away, better than some celebs who say, no, I didn't do it. I mean, it starts to come recall a little bit about Joop Joop and, yeah. you know, uh, still going on, still don't know what's happening. Of course, it wasn't as serious as that. He, like, his bucky crashed into some kind of pylon or something. So, I mean, he didn't kill anybody. But at the same time, it doesn't exactly look good. I mean, this is like a, you know, double platinum album selling band. You know, yeah. they are huge in South Africa and, you know, they're trying to put out the right message. So uh, I think that, you know, Art said himself, look, I did a stupid thing. Don't do what I do. Don't yeah. drink and drive. And, and also, are the penalties severe enough? Because we know anywhere else in the world, Yolen Zilohans, etc., you know, being committed to be at uh, community service or s serving jail time. We yet to see that, yes. that kind of penalty with local celebrities. I agree. Mm. We have yet to see that, and we'll have to see what happens. Okay, and Holly Berry's in town. Yes, Holly Berry's been here actually for a while. She's been here since the end of July. Um, and she is filming her very interesting film uh, called Dark Tide, mm -hmm. along with Olivia Martinez. And she's just enjoying it. Her latest stint was in Simon's Town, where she's filming. Mm -hmm. And uh, today she's got a really nice uh, lunch in honor of her from Revlon. And um, 
you know, she's just doing a, a wonderful job here. The only thing is, she's still involved with her custody battle uh, with Gabriel Aubrey, her mm. do toy boy, who's sort of her on and off guy. I mean, you know, she says in the September issue of Vogue that they've broken up, but they're actually still kind of together. Um, they have gotten together still on a yeah. couple of occasions. And she even says he's still always going to be the father of our baby and we're still always going to be together. The yeah. only thing is he wants full custody now. So I don't know exactly how they're going to work that out. All right, Jen, always fabulous seeing you, girl. You look yes, hot as ever. Yes, thank you. And thank of course, so happy much. birthday to Madonna, who's 52 today. Yeah, wow. Another well, like fab girl. girl. She's just gorgeous though, eh? Carries Amazing. her age very well. Thank you, darling. Thank Much you. Much appreciated. We're speaking to entertainment reporter and journalist Jan Su on the latest entertainment news. You can continue to send uh, your thoughts, be it on Facebook, or you can send it to sunrise at etv.co.za. We'll take a quick ad break. We'll see you on the other side. In life, there's only one certainty, and that's uncertainty. From day to day, you really don't know what life is going to throw at you. Hi, I'm here to tell you how we at Auto and General Insurance can bring you real peace of mind. As a leading car, home and business insurer, we really believe in taking care of our clients. That's why we do our utmost to make sure you're looked after when the unexpected strikes. Imagine finding yourself in a situation where you're driving to work when suddenly a child runs into the road. You have no choice, you swerve and you hit a lamppost. Once you've recovered from the shock, your thoughts would more than likely turn to a series of questions. I need help. What happens now? I need a tow truck. I hope I can find a reliable panel beater. 